football, music, TV series and lots and lots of openness towards the LGBT community. It is all this and much more Manchester, one of the UK's most popular cities for tourists. In Manchester, football is not only the national sport, but it's so focused on the daily life of the population that it has a museum dedicated to this sport. By the way, Etihad Stadium and Old Trafford are two of the best stadiums on earth and they definitely worth a visit. The Cathedral of Manchester it's not monumental as one might imagine, but its greatness is represented by the simplicity of its interiors and the elegance of the evergreen Gothic style. Especially in the Christmas season, you can find many street markets around the city center and the Christmas atmospheres take over everywhere. Getting close to Piccadilly Gardens, you can discover some stalls selling street food and when you reach the square, the wide view takes over. Elegant buildings, green spaces and the big fountain will catch your attention. Piccadilly Gardens is not only the biggest square of the city and the landmark for the people, but also an important hub for means of transport. The John Rylands Library remains one of the most important places to visit if you are in Manchester. Free to visit, it was completed in 1899. If you are interested in vintage clothes and items, such as vinyl records and so on, Northern Quarter is for you. Another interesting, colorful but small neighborhood is Chinatown. Manchester is also known for its remarkable Christmas markets. They take place in Exchange Square and Albert Square, where the town hall is. The tower that rises from the wall of the town hall looks like a sort of Big Ben. The town hall, whose construction was completed in 1877, is rightly considered a masterpiece of the Gothic architecture across the globe. And last but not least, their Science and the Industry Museum. Free entrance don't miss the opportunity to take a visit in there. In conclusion, Manchester is definitely worth a visit. It's small, easy to explore and populated by friendly people. In the next video, we'll go to Liverpool, 30 minutes drive away from Manchester. Stay tuned, hit the subscribe button and see you soon.